Asia for our community engagement team. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about our Firefox OS, uh, basically give you a current status on Firefox OS, and talk a little bit about our launches in Asia. Um, so I think everybody here knows about Mozilla, uh, that we're a nonprofit organization and we're focused on the web. Um, I think most of you might be using uh, Firefox, the browser, but we're really uh, pretty excited about our uh, mobile operating system as well. Um, and that's uh, my main focus right at the moment. We've had three launches in Asia, and I'll be talking about those. Um, I think when you look at the mobile environment today, uh, we have obviously the two big uh, players with uh, iOS and Android. Uh, and I think a lot of people sort of question, you know, why do you need a Firefox OS? And I think it's about choice. And that's actually the reason that Firefox, OS, uh, Firefox the desktop browser, uh, became popular uh, in the 90s uh, to provide uh, people with choice on the desktop uh, as well. And as a brand, we're probably the most uh, popular uh, open source consumer brand with the popularity of Firefox. And that's one of the main reasons why we've had so many partners uh, and, and carriers around the world uh, join with us. So today, We've launched uh, in 29 countries. Uh, these are some of the phones, uh, the devices that are in market today. We've got um, you know, some very affordable phones. One of the phones uh, was sold last year for 999 Philippine pesos, which is about 23 USD, all the way up to uh, KDDI's phone in Japan, which is uh, something close to 500 USD. So, uh, very affordable to very high end. Our partners, uh, launch partners uh, at the very beginning was Telefonica and Deutsche Telekom, but we have partners all around the world, uh, both on the carrier side and on the handset side. At uh, MWC this year, we just announced MediaTek as our third um, Chip, chipset partner. So we now have uh, Qualcomm, Spectrum, ARM, and uh, MediaTek coming this year. So that's pretty exciting as well. Uh, for those of you who don't, haven't tried Firefox OS or only saw the older versions, uh, we will have a booth here uh, starting today. Uh, so please come by. We've got Firefox OS phones for you to try out. Uh, we have probably about 10 or 15 uh, Mozilla uh, community members attending. Just look for someone with a Mozilla shirt. They should have a phone on them. You can try out. I've got my phone with me. Um, we're trying to make uh, an interface that, yeah, easy to use, um, but certainly different from you know what, what's out there already. Um, one of the uh, so it's like the because it's a web-based operating system, uh, we can do searches across the whole OS, uh, which I think the, the the major OS is only recently provided. But that was a uh, we had that feature from the very beginning of of our platform, and. Uh, because it's all web-based, anybody who's a web developer can actually uh, modify uh, you know, any part of, of the OS. We've got uh, Find My Device, uh, we've got accounts, you know, all the things that, uh, many of the things that uh, you, you're probably familiar with in any of the major OSs, we're building all those features that you would want as quickly as we can. Um, I think for this crowd here, some of the cool new features that are launching, uh, that launched in 2.0, uh, are uh, NFC support uh, and WebRTC support. Um, and I don't know that those are available yet on, probably not on, on iOS, maybe on Android. Um, yeah, so, uh, 
coming later this year. We've got uh, a TV announcement that came out in uh, at MWC. Panasonic is launching a, a 4K TV with Firefox OS. We've got a uh, really cool, there was a round phone, I don't know if you guys saw that, called Runcible, which looks really interesting running Firefox OS. We've got tablets coming. Uh, so there's a lot of really interesting things people are doing, not just in uh, the mobile phone space. So how are we doing? Uh, we've got 30% market share in Uruguay, 12% uh, in Venezuela. We've got 11 million apps uh, installed uh, as of January, and uh, 10,000 new users per day on our marketplace. So small, but certainly growing pretty quickly. In Asia, uh, we, we've, got, we've had three uh, major launches in Asia, in Bangladesh, in India, and in the Philippines. And our community members, uh, they support the launches uh, in many different ways. In the pre-launch, there's uh, localization of the uh, interface, uh, local feature development. We've got a, a young uh, contributor still in um, school. Uh, not even, I think he's not even in university, uh, who built, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, he is in university, but he built um, the Bangladeshi uh, keyboard for Firefox OS. Uh, a lot of app hackathons so that local apps can be uh, ready uh, for, the, for the debut of Firefox OS. Um, and then uh, our community members also helped with uh, preparing even our partners, uh, who are maybe not as uh, familiar with the operating system, they go in and they train uh, the, the support staff and the technical staff uh, on, uh, on the operating system. At launch, uh, our community members, including st staff as well, but also our community members, provide PR and communication support, uh, different kinds of launch marketing, and in the case of uh, Bangladesh, where Green Phone is our partner, uh, cooperation with, uh, with our carrier partner. After uh, the launch happens, there's additional hackathons, user meetings, uh, marketing and social media. So there's just a lot that, that uh, can be done both uh, you know, on the technical side and on the non-technical side. So as I mentioned, uh, in Bangladesh, we, we have uh, Grameen Phone as our partner, um, and the community did a, lot, did a lot of great work beforehand, getting uh, the interface ready, adding features, uh, doing contests to, to uh, educate uh, the user base about what's about the OS, and we did a, an app challenge with Grameen Phone that was really popular. In India, we launched with four Indian partners, uh, handset manufacturers, Intex, uh, Spice, Alcatel, and one more that I don't remember at the moment. Um, a large community marketing team. You've seen some photos from a multi-city uh, bus tour that the community did where they rented out a bus and they traveled to 12 or 15 major cities across India, stopping at uh, universities and uh, startup village in India. India and a number of other places, getting the word out about uh, Firefox OS in India. In the Philippines, we launched with Cherry Mobile, um, the, and things are just basically starting there. But they participated a lot in training and uh, PR and promotion around um, the, the launch. And there's um, multiple online and offline events scheduled for uh, later this year. So, yeah, um, Firefox OS is, just as we saw on the desktop, uh, we believe, Mozilla believes, that there ought to be more choice, and Firefox OS provides more choice, uh, certainly, because it's, uh, you can find devices at a much more affordable uh, price than um, the other two uh, partners, and uh, excuse me, the other two uh, mobile operating systems. And also the barrier to development of a Firefox 
Firefox OS app is much lower. All you need to know is HTML, CSS, JavaScript, versus having to know uh, Java or Objective-C for the, the other two major operating uh, systems. And as I mentioned, we've got smart TVs coming. We've got uh, dong like uh, media dongles coming. We've got, obviously, tablets coming. Uh, a lot of uh, partners are picking up Firefox OS for uh, IoT applications uh, and sort of devices that uh, you know, we might, might not, not imagine. Or I, I can't even imagine what they're using them for. So that's very exciting as well. Uh, that's my presentation. Uh, you can reach me at gen at mozilla.com or on Twitter at, at gen, G-E-N. And I'm happy to take some questions. Any questions? Thank you very much for your...